Hey guys, Michael here. Welcome to the channel. My wife made a rhubarb pie tonight that I cannot wait to dig into, but first, a tech review. So today we're looking at the AC1900 from Asus. Now this is a really nice router. They really took their time with the design. It has a nice matte finish on the top, a little bit of a carbon fiber thing going, and it will not embarrass you in the living room. It stands up like this, and you can hide in a corner. It looks nice, it's not overstated. The antennas are a little much, but you need those for a good connection all over your house, and this will cover a full three-story house if that's what you have. It is really quite powerful, and short of anything commercial, this should work in your house beautifully with the Wi-Fi 5 standard. Now, Wi-Fi 5 is a rename of the AC standard. So you went from A to B to G to N, and then AC, and now we're on to AX. So this is not the latest anymore, but this came out in 2013, and I used it since 2014. So this was what I used for six years as my router in my house. And it never failed. It chugged along, it never had any issues, and it provided great speeds, and I really recommend it still. For $150 or $130 if you buy it renewed from Amazon, this is a killer deal. So this router has both a 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz fan. So if you're close to the router, the 5 gigahertz will really bump up your speed for devices that support it. It also has a 1 gigahertz dual core processor, which will let you split traffic between USB traffic and the internet traffic, which can really help with reliability and speed. Now what you have on the back is four ethernet ports and one incoming port. You have a USB 2.0 and USB 3.0 for storage and also an on off button so you can just toggle that from the back. There's a reset button in case the configuration gets messed up. It'll set you back to the regular software. And yes, yeah, so this is the Asus RT AC68U. It is just a nice machine and worked for six years and I have no doubt that this could go for another four or five years and I wouldn't really think about replacing it if there weren't some crazy new standard out there. It even has an LED toggle on it, which seems kind of silly since the only LED is really uh, for the Asus logo on the back and the very faint blue that comes up along these icons that show you what's going on with the router. One of the absolute best things about the Asus routers is the software that comes loaded onto it. It has all sorts of options. It has the USB storage like connection settings that you can access. It has parental controls and the ability to connect to a VPN client, all just built right into the software of the router. And if you've worked with other Asus routers before, it will be familiar to you. It will be an easy thing to edit. I really like the configuration options. The software is just solid. And I highly recommend if you're looking for a router for $150 or $130, if that is your price range, then this is still the router to get six years later, seven years after it came out. Like, this is just a beautiful machine that will continue to be good for years to come. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope this review helped you learn something new or make a decision. If it did, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe because I'll have a lot more coming for you soon. I'll see you next time.